Hello and a warm welcome to Intersolar TV, here from the Intersolar Europe 2013. It is extremely hot today, so I have taken a moment to cool off and now I will head back into the Intersolar Europe 2013 conference. This always begins one day before the exhibition and is the international meeting point for the sector. Here 400 international experts and approximately 2,000 attendees from all over the world meet. Here they exchange information about the latest trends and applications and naturally discuss the future of the solar sector. This year, the attendees will benefit in particular from the experts from the growth markets and their know-how. During a conference break, we asked Professor Dr. Gerhard Willeke from the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems about what exactly will shape the future of the solar sector. At the InterSolar Europe 2013, we have two topics as always, photovoltaics and solar thermal technologies. There are several focal topics concerning photovoltaics. On one hand, there are energy storage systems. These are very important and naturally the new markets because of the new business models for the photovoltaics manufacturers in particular. For solar thermal technology, it's the new applications such as solar process heat. Current market developments and political framework conditions, technologies and examples of best practice from various storage application areas are discussed over two days. A new study is also being presented. Yeah, so the most important outcomes of the research study are that the motivation for installing energy storage in PV varies considerably depending on the sector and the region. So, for example, in the residential sector, it's being driven by sub subsidies in places like Germany to promote self-consumption. Uh, in other regions around the world, in Asia and Americas, particularly for utility scale systems, it's being seen as a necessity when building a large scale project to help balance the grid and help deal with things like ramp rate control. The PV Executive Panel is another highlight of the conference. Panel topics center on global growth strategies for the solar industry, analysis of new markets, technologies and business models in the industry, as well as the current political conditions in Europe. The general session shines the spotlight on both the progress of the energy transition and its technological challenges, as well as new markets such as the MENA region and South America. The conference also focuses on new business models. The conference is complemented by numerous side events as well as the InterSolar Europe Conference Barbecue. What better way to network than with a tasty vegetable skewer and a cold beer? Fancy coming along? Then just take a look at the accompanying program. On that note, and with a tasty vegetarian skewer, here's to the InterSolar Europe 2013. Mmm, tasty.